Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jennifer Tran and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make Vietnamese Jia Thai. Here are the list of ingredients that you'll need to create Jia Thai. First up, we have a can of lychee and syrup. Then you'll need a can of palm seeds. My personal favorite, jackfruit and syrup. A can of grass jelly. I chose the color green because I like how it looks once everything's combined together. It just gives the Jia an extra pop. The next ingredient is coconut jelly. This is also optional. I'll be using tapioca snacks. I like this because it's convenient and very easy. It's already pre-made and pre-cut. All you have to do is soak and boil. One pint of half and half and coconut cream. All right, let's get started. I have all my products here set up. I'll be using a knife of this size um, just because I like to cut with small knives, but you can also use something like this, which is a little bit bigger. It just really depends on how comfortable you are with knives. I'm going to be cutting little things. I like to use a little knife. I may switch back and forth, but for the most part, it's going to be this size knife right here. So once you have all your products laid out, go ahead and start emptying the contents, saving the juice from the can. You can go ahead and move this over to the side. You won't need this until the end. Go ahead and empty out the contents onto a tray. Then you want to have a bowl right next to you. This way it's easy for you just to pick up and pour the contents into. And then I just start slicing. You can cut these also into cubes if you like. I like to do strips. I went ahead and sliced my jackfruit. I'm just going to go ahead and pour it into my bowl here. Okay, set that aside. Moving on to the next item, which is the lychee. I've seen people leave these whole and just put them right into the dessert. I always cut these because if you have children in the family and they're eating this, you want to make sure they're going to be able to chew this. It's totally your preference, but I always prefer to cut. With the palm seed, I don't preserve the juice that it comes in. I think it tastes bitter, so I just drain it out. This is how it looks when it comes out of the can. You're just going to rinse it out. That's how they look when they're rinsed. And again, since we have little ones in my family, I'm going to go ahead and cut this in half like so. This next ingredient is one of my favorites. Growing up as a kid, I always enjoyed eating grass jelly. It just adds great color to the jam. If you aren't able to find the green grass jelly, don't worry, you can use other types of jelly. It comes out like so. It's, it kind of looks like slime. It's like jello. Okay, and set that down. Dry off my hands real quick. And for this one, I am gonna use the larger knife. There are different ways you can cut this. You can cut it into sections like so. I've also seen people cut it like this and start. It's really on how comfortable you are in the kitchen. I'll show you both. What you'll have in the end are little cubes like so. So this is what you're looking for. You can go bigger, smaller, however you like. This is just the size that I'm gonna do for today's video. Okay, now that you have your green grass jelly, this is how it looks. Bring your bowl back in and you're just gonna slide it on in there. Slide it all in there. So far, this is how the dessert looks. You can see the green adds a nice touch. You have your jackfruit, you have your lychee, and your palm seeds. The next thing I'm going to add is the coconut jellies. Open this up and just drain the syrup. Again, this syrup is not the syrup you want to put into the jetai because it's very thick. Shake off all the excess water. Oops, I dropped a few. And just make sure you drain it out. Place it into a bowl. Take 
this, bring it on back over to my workstation here. My babies came to say good morning. Good morning, Mr. Colby. Hi. And here's Arlo. Arlo, say hi. <laughs> He's busy eating breakfast. These are my pepperonis. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and add those in. I'm gonna go ahead and soak these in water, bring them to a boil, and then that's gonna be the last step, which is to add this in. I'm gonna go ahead and strain the tapioca and then put it into the bath here. Um, the reason for this is because we want it to stop cooking. So I just added a couple cups of water and some ice and let's go ahead and move it on over. This is what you'll get when it's all done and you just wanna make sure you get all that excess water out. Let's pour it into the cold water and that's gonna stop the cooking process. Okay, let's go ahead and rinse this out. Stir it all around so that it doesn't clump up. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and add the half and half. You wanna use one pint. Shake it up. Pour the whole pint in there. You can see how the milk looks against that green grass jelly. It's so pretty. And then you wanna mix it up. Then I add a little coconut cream. Again, stir this all up. And right now it looks like a very thick consistency. It looks very thick and creamy. You do not want this consistency as an end result. Right now we're just mixing it all together and making sure that all of the ingredients are well mixed. Then you're gonna go ahead and add the juice from the canned fruit. I'm gonna give it a good stir. This is how it should look. Add the tapioca into it. This will give the jet a nice red colored touch. Here's the final product. The last step is to go ahead and put it into a cup. I'm using a cup like this. We start by putting the fruit in first, like so. And then you want to get the milk only. The last step is just topping it off with crushed ice. Serving it up, give it a good stir, and there you have it. Jia Thai. Alrighty, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to make Jia Thai. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop it down in the comment box below. And if you haven't done so already, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you never miss a video. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a happy holiday season. Bye.